Wait, you are Riff, are you not? Of that I plead guilty. Who are you? I am servant to Alara, High Priestess of the Orb of Storms. She has sent me here with a most solemn request. If it is within my power to help Ilara, I shall gladly do so. News has reached her that you are bound for the Wildlands. She asks that you deliver this letter to her sister, Ilama. Ilara has a sister in the Wildlands? Yes. Alama was always the adventurer of the two. Quite a loner. When she was quite young, she chose to live in seclusion in the Wildlands. They have not seen each other in many years. But how shall I find her? We do not know. Perhaps she will have to find you. At any rate, if you can find her, Alara would be most grateful. I am happy to be of service. Tell Ilara I will try to make the delivery. Let us make haste, fellows. Our quarry beckons, and we must answer. It appears to be the only route through to the Wildlands. Very impressive for a doghouse. Okay, well, that's our hint. Let's go back to the rats. Uh. Any imperfection in the substance will result in death. There. I am Riff of the Fox Tribe and Associates. We seek passage. And passage you shall have. All you have to do is pay the toll. Us? Pay you? Dog must have gotten a hold of a bad bone. By whose authority is this highway robbery allowed to happen? Prince. Prince who? Prince. That's it. Just Prince. He's our leader. Ringleader, you mean? And this prince expects us to give him money just to pass through? It's either that, or you do not pass at all. On the other hand, prince is very fond of amusement. I'm sure that if you told him but a few humorous stories, he would not only grant you safe passage, but make you his honored guests as well. Not bad. A few jokes and we're out of here. Do you think you can come up with some humorous stories? Are you joking? I'll have him rolling on the floor. Take us to this prince. We'll teach him what amusement is all about. Right this way. I'm bored. Bored. I need something to do. Oh, let's do something. We could go chase wagons along the road. Maybe you could throw me a stick and I could bring it back. No, no. Today, I feel like... Howling. I haven't had a good howl in a long time. Hey, everyone, how about a good group howl? Prince, in the courtyard, are... Wow, that felt great. But now I am bored again. My prince, there are three travelers at the gate who wish passage. Did you say travelers? That's right. They say they're on their way to the wild lands. Well, bring them in. Enter! 
Welcome, welcome, my friend. To whom have I the pleasure of addressing? I am Riff of the Fox Tribe. These are my associates. Lieutenant Ia of the Guard of the Forest King and Sergeant Ock of the Boar Tribe. We seek passage to the Wildlands, but we must respectfully decline your request for a toll. I see. Well, my needs are small, and a bit of amusement is certainly worth as much as money to me. Then perhaps I could entertain you with some amusing stories. Very well. You may proceed. Good evening, ladies and germs. This dog walks into a pub with a waterfowl under his arm. I know. I was talking to the waterfowl. That is a very old story. I'm afraid you'll have to do better than that. Here's one. This is a really good one. Once upon a time, there were three brothers named Julian, Philip, and Kevin. Surely you're just. That's just an old fairy tale. Heard it. Once there were two foxes who deeply offended the local constable. The constable swore to lock the foxes in the dungeon. So the foxes decided to dress up as females. And in the end, the rich merchant says, Oh, well, nobody's perfect. Heard it? It seems that you have neither paid the toll, nor have you managed to amuse me. My, my, this is a disappointment. And then we will be on our way and bother you no more. Au contraire. You will yet provide me with amusement. Only this time it will be on my terms. Cards? What? Take our guests to the dungeon until I decide what to do with them. Oh! What happened? Apparently Prince really didn't like that last story. Where are we? We're either in the dungeon or the worst inn in the world. Did someone call me? Is everything all right? I like my prisoners. They're all my friends. Please, let me be your friend. Would, would, would you like me to get you something? How about some food? Fetch us some food. I can do that. I can get you food. You wait, just wait, and I'll bring you good food. Here it is. Here's the food. Are we supposed to eat this with our hands? Oh, no. No hands. Just stick your face right in. I don't think so. How about some blankets? Fetch us some blankets. I can do that. I can get your blankets. You wait, just wait, and I'll bring you blankets. I'm sorry. We don't have blankets. We don't even use blankets. Please forgive me. How about some weapons? Fetch us our weapons. The weapons, of course. I can get your weapons. <laughs> You wait, just wait, and I'll bring you some great weapons. Hey, wait a second. Are you trying to trick me? A spoon? I've heard of those. I think we have one in the museum. I'll go get it. You just wait. Here you go. I think this is a spoon. Do you like it? Is, is it a good one? You really love your job, don't you? Excuse me. Do you know what Prince intends to do with us? No, I'm sorry. But I'm sure it's something fun. Prince is a good master. Good master. We don't want anything more. You can go now. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Have I done something wrong? No, no, we like you. You've been a good jailer. Good jailer. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you later then, all right? 
I miss my pasture. I feel strangely stronger, but ugh, what a taste. I'll try this. Hey, it's working! The mortar's coming out! One, two, three, push! One, two, three, push! That's it! At last, do you see anything in there? The tunnel is too small for me, and probably too small for... It appears that I am the only one who will fit through this opening. Very well. However, I do not like sending you out of here by yourself. I'll be back as quickly as I can to free you. In the meantime, please try not to kill each other. I suppose there's nothing to do now except wait. Freedom at last! Uh-oh. Heavens, that storm certainly appeared quickly. It looks like a bad one, too. If the orb of storms were in the hands of its rightful owners, we could have predicted this. At last, perhaps I can find food and shelter here. Halt! Stand where you are. That should be easy enough. Where else can I stand except where I am? I'm not impressed by your clever answers. I hereby declare you my prisoner. It's about time. What? Come, come. I am your prisoner. Lock me up. 
Confine me to quarters. It's getting late. Well, what are you waiting for? My prison cell awaits. By the way, what's for dinner? Halt! Stand where you are. There's that phrase again. Prepare to meet the chiefess. Bow before Prow. I am honored to stand before you. Identify yourself. I am Riff of the Fox Tribe at your service. I have seen neither you nor your kinsmen in these parts before. My village is far to the south. And what brings you here? I am on a quest to return an item that was stolen from my people. We believe that it was stolen by a raccoon that lives to the north of here. And what sort of item was stolen? A wondrous globe known as the Orb of Storms. It predicts the weather and the seasons. Such an item would be valuable indeed. Very well. You may pass through our village unharmed. Peace be with you. My attendant will see to your comfort. Now, if you will excuse me, I am needed elsewhere. Follow me. I will show you where you can sleep tonight. Your chieftess has a sadness about her. She is extremely concerned about the health of her daughter, Murp. What's wrong with her? Murp was on a hunting expedition in the mountains when a sudden thunderstorm caused her to lose her footing and fall. Was she badly hurt? Her wounds were not bad, but it took the hunting party three days to return to the village. By then, the wounds had become infected. What is her condition now? She is quite weak and delirious, and not expected to last much longer. Poor Prawa. Murk is her beloved, and her hope for our tribe. Please accept my gratitude for your gracious hospitality. Well, traveler, did you have a good night? Very comfortable indeed. I would like to repay you if possible. I understand your daughter is quite ill. Then you understand correctly. We had hoped to see an improvement in her condition, but those hopes are fading by the day. May I examine her wound? Are you a healer? No, but in my travels I encounter many different people. If any of them can provide assistance, I shall do everything in my power to aid you in your plight. If you can help in any way, you shall have my undying gratitude. Follow me. No! No! Look out! The rocks are falling! Falling! Help me! Help me! She has been like this for several days. Her fevered mind keeps reliving the accident. I fear she will not be able to hold on much longer. Then I had best make haste. I promise to do everything I can to find a solution. Do not lose hope. On the contrary, you have restored my hope. Good luck, Rith. Hello? Hello? Is anyone in there? Hello? Go away! Her hospitality is underwhelming. I know. I'll slip the letter under the door. She'll read it and let me in. She is, after all, a cat. And her curiosity will surely get the better of her. And then again, maybe not.
If at first you don't succeed, block the bottom of the door. I seem to have missed an opening. All right, if that's the way you want to play. Go ahead, try to throw the letter out now. Oops! A letter from Ilara. Why, it's been forever since I heard from her. I suppose she's still involved with that sanctuary thing. She always did like that hoodoo. Yes, in fact, she... But what about you? Surely you didn't come all the way up here just to bring me this letter, did you? No, ma'am. I'm on a quest to... Where are my manners? Would you like something to eat? Poor thing, you must be half-starved. You come in and tell me all about yourself while I fix us a little snack. Very well. And sit up straight. Young people need to watch their posture, or by the time you're my age, you'll be round-shouldered. You don't want that, do you? No, ma'am, I... Well, all right, then. Go ahead, tell me all about yourself. What are you doing here? I'm on a quest to recover the Orb of Storms, which was stolen from its sanctuary at the temple. I saw the smoke coming from the chimney and decided to stop. Well, it's a good thing you did. Or you'd be wandering around lost, for sure. Land Six, you've had quite an adventure, haven't you? Yes. And I fear it is far from over. Now I must try to locate a doctor for Prawa's daughter. I feel she will not last much longer. I know of no doctors in this area. However, there are some folk remedies that we have used for many years. And they work? Child, these remedies have been around a lot longer than those newfangled medicines. They work just fine. Can you tell me what these remedies are? Of course. I can make one up for you. First, we'll need some honey. Honey? I mean to cure her, not sweeten her. The honey will act as an astringent to draw out the fever. I'll give you a bowl to gather it in. This will help her delirium? Once the fever is broken, the delirium will subside. What about the pain? We will put catnip leaves into the salve to help ease the pain. Also make a tea from the leaves. It will act as a sedative for her. What can I use to heal the wound? Is the wound open? Yes, it is. Then you must also get a needle and thread to sew up the wound. Sew up the wound? Oh, I don't think... You must be brave. If the wound is not sewn up, none of the other ingredients will be effective. Where can I find these materials? Honey bees make their combs mostly in hollow trees. Catnip grows best in moist soil, so look around lakes and streams. Just look around you. And the needle and thread? That may prove to be more difficult. Alas, I have none myself, or I would gladly donate them. Perhaps another village or a traveling merchant could be of help? And these ingredients are all I need to make the cure? Lancakes, no, child. Those are just the ingredients I don't already have. Find those ingredients, bring them back to me, and you shall have your salve. Then I'd best be on my way. I have a life to save, friends to free from prison, and an orb to recover. All in all, a rather full schedule. Then be off with you. When you return, I'll make up the salve and send you on your way. For this, you will earn not only my gratitude, but that of the Wildcat tribe as well. I will return as soon as possible.
It's much too heavy for me to lift. Hooray! Bees! And unless I miss my guess, those are definitely honeybees. That means there must be honey in that tree. Now I have tinder for a fire. All I need is a spark to light it. Fly away, little bees. I shall take a small portion of your golden treasure and see that it is put to good use. Confound these shoes, shoddy materials. Tis a blight on our society. Well, what do you want? Who are you? My name is Riff of the Fox Tribe. Hylas Honeyfoot is my name. Dry goods merchant extraordinaire is my thing. I am, uh, looking for an old friend. A raccoon. Perhaps you've seen him. A raccoon? Hmm. Let's see now. No, I don't recall running across any raccoons lately. But if I do, I'll be sure to mention that you're looking for him. I would be most interested in seeing what you have. So then, what will be your pleasure? I would like to purchase the needle and thread. A wise choice. That will be a mere ten credits. Ten credits? I'm afraid I do not have that much on me. Then perhaps you have something you could barter for it? All I have on my person are... The only thing I am interested in is that gold ring. I'd say that was worth ten credits. You are indeed a shrewd businessman, young fox. Farewell, friend Kylas. Safe journey, my friend. What have you found so far? Good! You've gotten all the ingredients. I'll just go mix them up in the proper proportions, teach you to apply them, and send you on your way. You have earned my gratitude along with that of the Wildcat Chieftess. The Wildcat Chieftess has long given me respect, and I her. Tell her I will 
will keep her daughter in my thoughts. Well? Then I'd best be on my way. I have all... Then, when you... For this you will earn not but that... I will re... Master Rip, I have orders to let you pass. The salve has been applied and the wound sewn shut. I think she'll be fine. The medicine should take effect soon. Mother. Mother? Is that you? Yes. Oh, yes, Murph. At last we'll have a reason to celebrate in the village after so long. Your people certainly know how to celebrate, Krawa. Of course. It's because my daughter Murph shall live. You have earned our eternal gratitude, Riff. How can we ever repay you? My friends are still being held prisoner by Prince and his dog guards. I must rescue them. If you assist me in this, I would happily consider the debt paid. What did you have in mind? If my plan is successful, there will be no bloodshed. In fact, the dogs will never even know you were there. It is done. All of the sedative has been placed in the food supply. The rest is up to you. Excellent. Each dog who consumes the sedative will sleep for at least three hours. More than enough time for me to free my friends. But the sedative is not that strong. You will still have to be very quiet so as not to awaken any of the dogs. I will have to take my chances. It is the only way to save my friends. Our best wishes go with you. I lose again. Again? Let us lap down a few in celebration. You lost, and I won. That's true. But I suspect you've been betting with my chips. A good drink and your chips are all that sustains me. Hey, I, I see a fox. Not that old trick. <laughs> You're not picking at my... Riff, you've returned. I knew you would. I never doubted you'd save us. You are an honorable warrior to have returned. I think I'll need the key. In that case, I say forget about dealing. We should replay these very same hands again. It was an entertaining hand. Agreed, Dan. Give me some of your chips so that I may bet. Someone open a new bowl of wine. Hey, I, I see a fox. Not that old.
Strip poker? Are you mad? We always lose. We'd be down to our collars in no time. I'm just plain human tired. I don't know what I'm saying. I miss my leash. I really miss my leash. Too many foxes. Does it seem quiet around here? Too quiet. <laughs> Much better. Hey, I, I see a fox. Not that old trick. <laughs> You're not picking at my cards. Riff, you've returned. I knew you would. Let's go. Does it seem quiet around here? Too quiet. <laughs> Much better. Now I see a, a fox, a boar, and an elk. I'll see that and raise you a duck, a pig, and a dozen mice. I wonder what sort of mine this is. It doesn't look equipped for ore mining. Hmm, those stalactites look like jewels. This must be some sort of crystal mine. <laughs> those things are fastened pretty tightly. Allow me to try. It is too large. We will have to figure something else out. <clears throat> gentlemen, gentlemen, allow me to make a suggestion. You, Fox, are a fine puzzle solver and possess a quick wit. Fine attributes, to be sure. And you, Elk, are a fine archer and noble warrior. These two are enviable skills. However, when you need brute strength and pure power... 
Just say, Unk. Ha ha ha!